We are the future, we are the dream, we are the nation, we are part of So hey guys, welcome back again. So today I'll be reviewing Dr. Bello. I know it's a much anticipated movie on DVD, but I'm not excited about it at all. I saw this movie Dr. Bello and I was quite disappointed. Yeah, very, very disappointed. At the movie. The movie features Isaiah Washington, Genevieve, Jide Kosoko, Seth New KK, Femi Brennan, on and on and on. Lots and lots of people view Vivica Fox, then all of them. You know, and I was so excited to see it, but lo and behold, it was, it was not to be. I'm giving that movie a 6 over 10. Yeah, 6 over 10. I think I'm even being generous to the 6. But anyway, I'm giving the movie a 6 over 10. You know, the movie is about a particular doctor who works in the states and all of that and he had a cancer patient and so we had someone from Nigeria Nigeria who came to heal the cancer patient and one thing led to another and he had to go to Nigeria to look for the cure of cancer and yeah so he came to Nigeria and then so his destiny and on and on and on this movie, you, you can see I'm not excited about it because it, it fell my hand, <laughs> so to say. Like, it was just disappointing. The storyline was poor, it did not end well. Okay, let me back it up. I liked the production quality, it was fantastic. I loved the costume. I loved the costume, it was really good. The sound, the picture quality, all those things were really good. Yeah. But, yeah, I think that was about as much as I liked about the movie you know that was it the story was very poor it was poorly written it did not flow well and then it did not end well also then there were some parts of it that were quite dry you know what you would expect to have like background music or sound there was no background music it was it was just dry and then where there was background music it was too loud it was overshadowing the actual actual movie like people in the cinema were just complaining that ah what is this you know it was the post-production was not perfect at all it was, it was it wasn't too good you know there were actually some parts that stood out in the movie to me they were trying to there was a part where they were trying to get from lagos to idori you know those states and they were pricing the car that would take the car that would take them and they were pricing it for three thousand naira. And the cab guy said yes. I was like, that's not that's not Nigeria. That's not possible. How can you travel from Lagos to or those states for three thousand naira with a chartered cab? It's not possible. That you know, it was just I was just like, ah. and then we're now in Idorio, Idorio Hills. We don't have a beach, you know, those states. I'm from those states, so I know. So <laughs> they were supposed to be in Idorio, and then they were supposed to be doing rituals, and they were doing the rituals at the beach. And I was like. This is not Idori because we don't have a beach in Idori in Bondo State. You know, it's not maybe they just thought they could just get away with it. But there were things that actually stood out a lot, like it was just wrong. Then the movie they wanted to end it. They did all those old school, he went to heaven, he saw his dead child. No. It was just it was poor. And you know why I'm even more offended? Because I forced two of my friends to go watch it with me because I was so excited to see it. But it was just like, yeah, don't get excited. I know it's not on DVD yet. If you haven't seen it, it's just by the way, by the way. But there were some things, you know, that were actually quite funny. Like the, the one thing that I really loved was Stephanie O'Kerry okay, said, like, she was, she was speaking and a Nigerian accent was beautiful. Like she was, I don't know if it was deliberate or if that's just how she speaks naturally but she spoke like she was talking to you know she was talking to an american and she was speaking with a nigerian accent it was just so beautiful like the way she was saying she acted really really well i loved her acting in that movie then with uh, a few other things a few other things but the movie was just it, it was just it wasn't too good six of a ten for dr bello if you think i'm wrong well as usual let me know but that's the review for Dr. Bello. If you, if you still want to go ahead and say, well, yeah, do see it, but don't, don't go out of your way to watch it. That's it for now. I'll come again with you. I'll come again to you with another movie sometime soon. But until then, remain in God. God bless you. Bye-bye.